everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all it is that time to do an update on my project use it up for spring so I'm filming this on the 20th because I thought I had until the 22nd to try to use up some more stuff. And though I double check when the first day of summer is, because that's when I, you know, give you my update for spring. And it said it's the 21st. I was like, don't. So I have to go ahead and do this. And I am almost done with one item. It's the Ariana Grande's Cloud Perfume. And then I, I looked at it, I said, I don't think I'll, I'm gonna be done with that by tomorrow because I was gonna put it in here and be like, oh, I'll be done with it tomorrow. But I think it's gonna take me a couple more days to use up that perfume. So I was like, ugh. So I'm a little nervous, y'all. If you haven't seen my Project Use It Up for Spring Summer video, I will link that above, check it out. Because that video shows everything. And a side note, I remember when I, I had to go back and check. Okay, let me tell you how I do this. On my Project Use It Up stuff, I have bags. I have that stuff separate and put in bags. And then I take out what I want to use and then I put it on my dresser. So, I remembered when I went to go check to see, you know, what I just... Because I'll add stuff to the bag. And I'm like, was this in the video or not? <laughs> I forgot to add in that video the perfumes I wanted to use up, y'all. So the perfumes you're seeing are not in that video, but they were on the list. Except the, some of the stuff I have to just talk to you about when I see what's in here because I can't actually remember everything. So I, I, my goal for this use it up, I had over, I had 125 products in total in, I think are over that i can't remember it was over 100 so i'm hoping i at least have enough to get me below 100 in this little two and a half month period so our three month period we're gonna see y'all so let's start i have everything that i have used up that was in the project or things i had to add because they were getting ready to turn bad in this bag we're gonna talk about them we're gonna see how i did my goal, remember, is to get it under 100. So let's see, y'all. Oh, and the first one of the first things I pull out is this Pacifica Island Vanilla Body Wash and Lotion. So these were not in the original project. This was like in my side projects that I do also because you can't just put everything in a project, use it up. But it was on my list to keep an eye on it because I didn't want it to go bad. Well, they started to go bad. The lotion had turned, so I had to, I just used this as an in-shower moisturizer. The body wash, I, I didn't want it to turn like the other Pacifica, so I just went ahead and used them. So these, I'm counting. Would I want these back? I know I would like the body wash. This smells just divine. I love this vanilla body wash. The lotion, I don't know yet. I might repurchase it um just to try it out because i didn't get to use it when it was fresh so i didn't i don't know if i like the lotion but i know i love this body wash so i would get that again i also finished up this as i start dropping y'all y'all know how i do i don't know why stuff be flying out my hand i also finished up this uh lotion and mist set and Cozy Sugar from Pink, and this has notes of toasted marshmallow and vanilla. Y'all, I wish they would bring this back. I thoroughly enjoy every second of this. This, to me, is not a toasty marshmallow. To me, this is a marshmallowy, kind of like marshmallow sweet dust vanilla. I loved it. The lotion is good. I cut it open, got every drop. Love this. If I saw this again, I would repurchase it. Love me, Cozy Sugar from Victoria's Secret Pink. I also finished this fragrance mist in scent work from Coles in Golden Vanilla. I added this to the project Use It Up just like that i think i added this because i have two of these 
and um, I had, let me just go ahead and pull this out because I think I was using it with this and I had this body cream in here from EOS and Vanilla Cashmere and I thought these two would go well together. So um, yeah, I love this. It's a sugary, coconutty, caramel, cream. I don't know, it's, it's, let me tell you the notes. It is rich vanilla blended with spun sugar and coconut cream. And it is, it is sugary, it's vanilla, it's creamy, it's got that hint of coconut. And I was like this, I don't know if they still have this. I know I've checked before, because I wanted the big bottle, never could, so I bought me three of the travel size to give me the same amount as a full-size body mist. So I decided, let me just go ahead and use up one to use with this EO, EOS um, Vanilla Cashmere Lotion. Well, the body butter, oh, this is so good. And that's, it's so good. I have, a full well I did a whole video on these I will link it above if you haven't seen it check it out and I had I got this in the cream to compare to the lotion and so I was like well let me go ahead and use up the cream so I don't have two of the same fragrances you know in the as a moisturizer so these two together worked really well I never felt like I was overwhelmed because I thought this scent for me was mostly fall winter but i can wear this year round even with the body butter it's a it's not too much and where i work and where i live is hot and i didn't feel overwhelmed with these um gourmand like lotion and mist so yeah i can I, this is year round for me now i discovered that so i finished those two up let's see i finished this body scrub in the Victoria's Secret pomegranate and lotus balance body scrub. I Oh my goodness. This is This is a good scrub. I do like this scrub, but just for this scent alone, I'm not crazy about the pomegranate and lotus and dove. I would prefer the pomegranate dove scrub over this one. So I think I'm good with that scrub. I don't want it again. I also finished the body oil in the pomegranate and lotus scent. As you see some of it coming down right there, I could not get that little bit out. So I'm just going to have to let it be. Now I would get this oil again because you don't see many pomegranate body oils. So I think I finished the whole set of this if I remember correctly. Out of everything, I would only repurchase the, the body oil in the pomegranate and lotus scent. And I don't think, I think in that video that I don't know if I had everything to the set included, but I knew once I use up the mist and lotion started, I would want to use everything um, because it's just how I am. <laughs> so, but this is one, let me smell it. Yeah, I would want this oil again. I think they still sell this oil. So whenever I got ready, got to one the pomegranate oil, this would be the one I would get. I'd really enjoy the oil. I also finished this strawberry body butter from Bath and Body Works. Y'all, I don't want this again. This is just, this was too much strawberry for Shaughnessy. Um, I love the body butters. It lasts me a long time. I think I got this in 2020. That's another thing I noticed with the body butters. They don't turn as fast as the creams, which I don't get. <laughs> but yeah, so I finished this one up. I don't want this one again. I finished up a set of my Twinkling Nights, my beloved Twinkling Nights. Y'all, if you know, if you watch me, you know I love Twinkling Nights. I have two more backups. This is on the level for me, like I said, if, if ever I see it, it's in my annual sale. I will always at least get one of everything. Cause this is one of the rare fragrances where I absolutely love the mist. I absolutely love the body cream. I absolutely love the lotion. I absolutely love the body wash. I love that shower gel. It smells so good. I love the packaging. I love everything about Twinkly Nights. So, it's so good. It's perfumey, it's pretty, it's airy, it's year-round, super feminine, classy, love it. 
finished up one set of that. Because, of course, the body cream was trying to turn. I also finished, like I said, I thought I finished the whole set of the pomegranate and lotus. So here is the fragrance mist. Here is the lotion. Like I said, this was nice. But I don't love that lotus note in there with the pomegranate. So this is a one and done for me, except for the body oil. I also finished a fragrance mist in Magic in the Air. I love Magic in the Air. This is one, if I saw it again, because I, I, I think I'm down to only one now in my collection. I would want it again. It's beautiful. Again, it's perfumey. It's almond, it's creamy, it's floral, it's a little sweet, it's a little powdery fresh, it's unique. I love it. It's a compliment getter, as is Twinkling Nights. Love me some magic in the air. I have one more left in my collection. I also, well here, here are these two body butters. Let's do the, well, how many, is this another one? Oh, okay, look at me. I also finished the Honey Body Butter, Coco Shea Honey Body Butter from Bath and Body Works. This is supposed to be coming back. Ooh, that's good. Y'all, I scraped that clean. This is a very potent, perfumey body butter. When you use this, and if you had the matching oil, you good. You don't need a perfume. I, I do, because that's just me. But you are potent and it's moisturizing. I like the packaging. It's luxe looking. It's nice. So when they bring this back, as is rumored to be coming back, and since I did not get the honey lotion from Victoria's Secret, because I didn't go from store to store for Vicky this year, and I didn't find it at the store I went to, I would repurchase this body butter. I would only need one because this is so potent. It's not something I like to wear every day, all day, because I get tired of the scent. And it's hard to try to pair things. I have to pair things that will go with this because it is such a potent smelling body butter. So I would get it again, love it, highly recommend it. But just know it is very, very, very potent. Okay, extremely. I also finished two of the, is it just two I thought I finished? Well, maybe I finished that one earlier. I don't know. But I finished two of the Dove Whipped Body Creams. I finished this one in the Macadamia and Rice Milk. I love this. If I saw it again, I would get it. It's a fresh, almondy, creamy, milky scent that just smells good and fresh and a little sweet and creamy. Love it. I also finished uh, the Whipped Body Cream in the Pomegranate and Shea Butter love this also i mean if you smell the body polishes in these fragrances and you've you've smelled it that's what it smells like and i love them and it's just you don't see these often they'll pop up in walmart so if i saw them again i would get them again am i looking for them right now am i hunting them down no because i have so much stuff but let's say i get to missing it I would, if I was in Walmart and I saw them, I would get them. And I finished up the Coke, coconut one also. Um, and I guess that one was before this project. So that was all three of them because I had three in my collection. So now I finished all three of those body butters. Okay. I also finished this shower gel and strawberry from Bath and Body Works. So this was in the project use it up because it was it went with the strawberry body butter that was all i had um from that strawberry line this body wash was nice but again i just i just am not a strawberry <laughs> loving girl i need strawberry mixed with something else I, it just can't be just strawberry i've noticed that i, I don't love that Okay, I also finished some other things from Pacifica that I had to add to the project. This is the Strawberry Peach Body Lotion and Body Oil Shimmer. So, yeah, I didn't get to use this as a lotion. As I had to use it as an in-shower lotion because it was it smelled, it, it, it was turning. It had, 
you know, it wasn't, it didn't smell good enough to leave on my body. So I said, okay, I'll use the in shower lotion, rinse it off. I had to use this body oil the same way because it smelled really, really bad. Oh, I mean, not to where it smelled off enough to where I said, there's no way I'm going to chance that somebody gets a whiff of that's the scent they get when I move around. So I use it in, use both of these in the shower as in shower moisturizers. I really didn't notice any shimmer with this, y'all. Because the first time I used this, I put it on my body. And then I was like, oh my goodness, this is smelling off. So I just drenched myself in a fragrance mist to cover it. And then I didn't see any shimmer. So, okay, like I said with Pacifica, any products I plan to ever purchase from them, I'm going to get them and use them. So I don't know if, if I see if I think I got this at a discount store. This one, Burlington. I think I got this at Target. So if I saw this at a discount store again, I don't know if I would purchase Pacifica. I have to make sure it was not open or anything because, yeah, my experience has been get it and use it quickly because it turns quickly. So this one and this one congealed up to where I could even get some of the oil out. So... For what it was, an in-shower oil and lotion, they were good. But when I repurchase this strawberry peach scent, no, I don't think I would. I, I'm good on that. Oh, and I also, well, let me see. I also finished the strawberry soda fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works. This one along with the strawberry body wash and uh, body butter. This is the one people say it smelled like strawberry Fanta soda, but this always smelled to me just like this. And like I've said repeatedly, I've noticed me and strawberry, we're not close like that to where I want to just smell strawberry. So I know this is some people's holy grail. They love it. I hope they're able to find it again. Like Tina Marie's mom, I know she loves this. So, but for me, it's a one and done at this time in my life. If I saw it again, I would not want strawberry soda. At least at this point in time. I also finished up another pink fragrance uh, mist and lotion set. This is in Pink Power. And this has notes of fluffy vanilla and bright sugar. So I remember I went to the outlet. I had watched Living Ash. This is back when she was all about Vicky and Bath and Body Works. And she was talking about how she loved this. And for me, it was just an okay, like warm, again, kind of dusty, like vanilla dust powdery vanilla scent that was nice, but it's not one. Okay, now I couldn't really smell it from the mist. Nice, it was, it's, it was, it's a nice vanilla. Is it anything that I was like, oh my goodness, if I saw it again, I would want it. Like, if I saw this again, I would want it immediately. This, no. I enjoyed it while I had it, but I've smelled better vanilla fragrance mist. So, yeah, I think I'm good. And pink fragrance mist, I've noticed, don't last sometimes as long. So, I have to really, really love a pink fragrance mist now for me to get it. So, I finished that. I think the only thing I have left in here now are some perfumes. So, is that it from this? Oh, one more. Okay. So, the perfumes I finished up, I finished the Viva La Juicy La Fleur perfume. Love this packaging. This is a pretty floral lighter airier take on the original viva la juicy but for me it did it just didn't last i know opinionated scent said she would get compliments on this um everybody's body chemistry is different i felt like i'm trying to get the the necklace thing right i felt like with this one for me i i don't like when i can't smell a fragrance myself hardly and that's how i felt with this i would drench myself spray this like a doggone body mist and i felt like i really couldn't just smell it on myself to enjoy it. i feel like i still had to hunt for it like 
to smell it myself. So this is one I feel like, unless I get nostalgic, which sometimes I can with fragrances, I feel like I'm done with this one. Pretty scent, but didn't last long for me at all, and I felt like I couldn't smell it myself. And I can't remember if I received compliments on this one or not. It's a pretty scent, but it is not, to me, long-lasting at all. I also finished the Versace uh, Red Jeans Woman Perfume. This is one, I love it. It's like a throwback. To me, it smells like the 90s. I don't know when this came out. It doesn't smell dated though, outdated. This is one I would say it's vintage because you just don't smell anything like this now. It's like a musky, peachy, fruity, powdery, perfumey perfume that I enjoy. I really enjoy receive compliments it is unique i love the the packaging of it it's you know it's just i just love it all around do i want to get another one not at this time i have so much stuff that for me to go immediately repurchase anything i have to be obsessed with it i have to be missing it severely for me to go and just immediately repurchase anything that's not a necessity because i have so much stuff so this is one, will I repurchase it? Who knows? I might one day. I'm not missing it now. But if I ever get to missing it, I would repurchase it. But for now, I'm good. Another full bottle I finished is the Pacifica Island Vanilla Perfume. Y'all, I love this perfume. I loved everything in this scent. This is a vanilla you can wear any time of the year. And it's perfect because it does have that island vanilla smell but also to me it has an herbal tea vanilla smell that i pick up in there like a fresh powderiness to it also that i absolutely love i will repurchase this because i love this vanilla now i'm not, i'm not going to rush out and get it now no I'm not because i have a lot of stuff but this is one this is a perfume like if, when ulta has theirs they have sales on Pacifica perfumes, I would get this one. If Target had their Pacifica perfumes on sale, which sometimes Target picks out different perfumes and has sales on, I would get it then. Um, so I'm just waiting for a sale on Island Vanilla and then I will get it in my collection and I'll be sure just to use it and enjoy it because again, this is one I added to my project because some I was when I noticed my lotions and everything turning and it had not been the two years that's on the bottle and I bought these from Target. I was like, okay, let me let me watch some reviews on these. And people were saying sometimes six months to a year with Pacifica perfumes, it would get to where they didn't smell the same, they didn't perform the same, and um, or you know, you just couldn't smell them. So I was like, okay. Whenever I get a Pacifica perfume, I know it's going to go immediately into my rotation to use and enjoy. So I know I'm going to get this one again, but I'm waiting for a sale. I'm just waiting for a sale. Okay, I finished up three travel uh, roller balls. For, um, they're all from Victoria's Secret. I just realized that. I finished this one in Dream Angel. I love this fragrance. Y'all. I love it. I have a full bottle of this. So I use, when I, okay, I started popping out the rollerball and I would just put some in an oil, this perfume in an oil or in a body butter to enhance my fragrance. And I love using it like that because I'm just not, I'm not a rollerball person. I just, I, don't, I can't stand it. I'm not a decant person. I am enjoy my products with the least amount of work if you got to make me work for with a product it's just not for me it's too much going on in my life to sit up and worry about fighting with a product i don't want to do that so that's why i don't love rollerballs that's why i don't decant that's just extra necessary unnecessary work for me i wish i was like that maybe at one point in my life it'll calm down and i and i'll be able to do things like that and have the time and energy but it is not right now honey so that's how i use this and thoroughly enjoyed it i did the same thing with Vic oh dream angel i have a full bottle of this i love it um i had decided if i saw 
the bottle from last year that I was gonna get a backup of it. That's how much I love it, but they didn't. So for winter sass, they did this repackage, which to me does not look as good as this packaging, but it smells the same because I purchased the body butter. So I'm gonna get another one because I love the way this smells. If you love, it reminds me of Thank You Next from Ariana Grande, take away that pickle note smell that I can get. And I love Dream Angel. I did the same thing with Victoria's Secret Bear. I was pouring this into an oil or a lotion and using it as a good, good base and made sure whatever perfume or body mist I was wearing would work with it. Okay, this smells good, but for some reason, maybe I need this in the full bottle, y'all, because it smells good, but I just couldn't get on board with it. I might get this in a mist or something and see what I feel about it, but not right now. I'm just, just but as I'm smelling, it smells good. It smells woody, kind of clean, kind of powdery, a hint of that fruity, like clean smelling fragrance. So it smells good, but I never fell in love with it. But I did enjoy using it how I used it. And the last uh, rollerball and item we're gonna talk about today is the Victoria's Secret Teas Sugar Fleur. I used, did this the same way, popped out the rollerball, put this in oils and body creams. This is sugary, sweet, girly, pretty, pink, flirty. I regret that I didn't get the 3.4 ounce bottle of this during SAS last year. I got the 1.7 trying to save some money. Because Victoria's Secret price is so high, if you give me a choice between the 1.7 ounce, usually $24.99, or the 3.4 ounce at $39.99, so $25 or $40, I'm going with $25 because I got so much stuff that I don't really need the full size. Only time I get the full size is when I, they don't have the smaller size available. But they had the smaller size available in the Tees Sugar Fleur, so I got the smaller size. And after I finally finished this roller ball and was using it, oh, and just loving the way it smells, I am kicking myself, honey. Oh, I love this. I love this. So I'm, I'm happy I have the 1.7. At least I have something, you know? Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna count how many products I used up. Let it be over 25, y'all, so we can at least be under 100 in my mind. Even though I had to add some things, I'm gonna still say it's under 100 because I had to add them to not have to waste them and throw them in the trash, okay? So one second. Y'all, I finished 29 products and I am kicking myself because if I had finished that doggone Ariana Grande Cloud perfume, it would be 30. I'm, oh, I mean, it's like that much left, but I don't feel like I'm still gonna finish it tomorrow. If I end up finishing it tomorrow by some chance, I might put a comment like, yo, I made it, I finished the Ariana Grande perfume. But I'm just like, oh, I wanted it to be 30. Boom. That way I would have, I would know I have 95 products remaining in my project, use it up for summer. And I wanted to say, cause some people were like, you're taking too long, give me an update on your project, use it up. Well y'all, this is how I do them. Now I'm thinking I'm gonna do it differently after I finish my summer project, because for me, that is a lot also to remember. So I'm thinking of a different way I want to do it that I haven't seen done. Um, so I don't know. I'm thinking of a different way to do my project, but for now it is what it is. I don't I don't mark my products with a marker because I like to look at my things. I spent money on my things and I like them to stay pretty. That's just how I am. I don't want to see a black mark on anything. I don't, I don't do updates like that on my project use it up. I do the way I've been doing it. It's been spring, summer, fall, winter. After spring is over, I do the official, on the official first day of the next season is when I do my update and tell you what I finished for spring. So for spring, for my project, it's 29 products total. And y'all, this is going to be interesting because this, if you, when you watch that video, somebody said, 
Girl, you got to put on lotion and spray down every hour on the hour to use up that stuff. It's no way I'm going to use up all that stuff. But unless you know what needs to be used in your collection, I went and checked the lotions. And still I have to check. As you can see, I had to add this. You have to come, when you have a larger collection and you're not one who wants to do massive declutters. Like if I still like something, I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna try to use it. Now, and when I'm done, when I'm over something, usually I give it away to friends, I give it away to family. That's just how I how, how I do my things and that is my business because it's my money and I bought them. I, you know, I can do what I want with them. <laughs> so, you know, I, I'm not one that just, I, I'm not the declutter person because I never want to be someone who I give it away or I I give it away. I don't I don't sell. Um, then I'll be like, oh my goodness, I kind of miss it. And then I have to go spend the same money again on what I had. No, no, no. No. So that's why I make sure I am a thousand million percent sure before I give away things to people that I'm fine with it. Because I don't want to be looking at it like, oh, Oh, I wish I would have kept it. Oh, no. Mm -mm. So I like to be a, just no doubts in my mind. And I try with my projects. That's why I do this. Because I, like I said, I've said before, I've always had a large collection. Not as large as this since starting my YouTube channel. But I've always had a a, a bigger collection more so than the, the average person. And family members, I, one of my favorite memories, my grandmother, she was visiting, and I was a teenager, and she had forgotten her perfume or whatever. And I was like, oh, come on, Grandma, come in my room, and just, you know, and she would look on my dresser, and she would pick out what she wanted, and then I would surprise her and bought her a set of it, because she loved my Victoria's Secret Dream Angels Halo. I had, you know, when they had the heart and the tall bottles with the heart top, and I love that and she fell in love with it, so I bought her some and that's one of my favorite memories because my nieces cousins friends everybody would come to my room they would just be using stuff and borrowing stuff because I've, I've always had more than that than the average person so that's why when you have a bigger collection you have to be looking through it checking trying to make sure you can use it up in some way shape or form and if you decide you know like sometimes i do that i'm not gonna use it then i'll give it away now i don't be on here telling y'all yeah i gave away this i don't do that because why should i <laughs> again, this is my money <laughs> i don't have to answer them to anybody that's why i never understood why some of these videos people are like oh oh yeah yeah i never got why people always wanted to be like explaining things I'm not out here committing crimes or, or doing anything immoral. So I'm like, are you kidding me? I don't have an answer to you on, on what I do on my channel or with my stuff that I spent my hard earned money on. That's just how I am. So I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> so, I mean, I did 29 products. I'm, I'm glad I finished 29 products. I wish it was 30. I'm all I'm always almost just right there when I do these videos. Uh, but I went on that tangent because somebody was like, you need to do it quicker and this. Well, this is how I do it. I don't mark things. I don't like to look at, I don't want marks on my products. I, Cause I just like sometimes look at myself and go, oh yeah. You know, I don't like to, I don't want to look at marked up products. That's just me. So this is the way it's going to be how I do my updates for until the end of summer. So after this, you'll get another project use it up update in the, the first day of fall. Because that's just how I do them. Now, I've been thinking about an easier way that will work for both of us. But for now, that's the way it's going to be because that's how I've set it up. And I'm not changing it and I'm not marking stuff and I, I, I'm just not because because that's not how I do my project use it up so I'm I'm okay with this like I said I've, if my cloud perfume had made it in here I would be ecstatic I've like 30 products and I, that would have been three of the the main full-size bottle perfumes on my list because Pacifica I had to add 
but these two like i said i forgot to add them in that video when i was doing my project using that video i forgot all the perfumes but these were two that were in there that i had set aside and just forgot to film it so and these were two so if i had just had my cloud perfume that would have been six of the ones that were in my project use it up originally but oh well it is what it is that perfume will be finished this week sometime so if you enjoyed this video and sorry for my long-winded chattiness give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below tell me what have you been trying to finish up during your because i know some of you do project use it ups too how have you been doing with yours i would love to know please share this video with everybody y'all especially those who like to not only purchase these products honey but use them up and please turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as i always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye